So it's week 13 in the NFL season. I'm back. I'm excited. We're almost at the playoff time. A lot of people didn't think that we were going to get close to the playoffs. A lot of people thought that this season was going to get halted due to COVID. And I mean, we're here. We're playing games on Wednesdays and Tuesdays and whatever we need to do. Whatever the NFL needs to do to get this season in, that is what's happening. So we are going to make it. This week's slate of games, week 13, not the best. Not the best. Uh, I picked out the best one. I'm pretty sure the matchup that I'm going to preview this week is the only matchup of teams with winning records. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that I am correct in saying that. So we have the LA Rams, Arizona Cardinals, the Rams coming in at 7-4, Cardinals 6-5. Let's start with the Rams. So the Rams, in their last four, they are 2-2. Two and two. Those two wins were over Tampa Bay and Seattle. Uh, they faltered a little bit last week against the Niners. But again, those two wins, Tampa Bay, uh, we're, Jerry's still out on them, but I'm going to say it's a good win in Seattle. Good win. Division leader. Perfect. Um, coming down the stretch, their remaining schedule, Patriots, next week. They get them at home, but Bill Belichick just seems to have Sean McVay's number. That's going to be a tough one. Then they get the Jets, chalk that one up. That's a win for sure. Then they go to Seattle, who they've already beaten. Um, and then they finish with another matchup, their second matchup against the Cardinals, which could have very much so could be a, a playoff, big-time playoff implications. Uh, so currently the Rams are the fifth seed in the NFC. If the season was to end right now, they would be playing, they'd have the best-case scenario outside of the bye. They'd be playing the Giants, the NFC East leading Giants, at New York, in New York, but still. They'd be playing a 4-7 team in the playoffs. My big key to this one, to this game, is which Jared Goff shows up. Do we get good Goff, like against Tampa Bay and Seattle? Who, um, I mean, all right, against Seattle, he turned the ball over a little bit, but he completes a lot of passes, and he's pretty careful with the ball. Or do we get bad Goff, which was what we got last week against the 49ers, uh, didn't look good, didn't complete, completed like right around 50% of his passes and threw two picks. Um, this year they don't have a big time running game, that's another key that I don't have written on the board. Uh, Cam Akers had a good week last week, can he replicate that to get Jared Goff going? That offense um, very heavily predicated on we need play action, so Cam Akers, Henderson, Daryl Henderson, can they get something going to help Goff out a little bit? That's going to be a big key here over Arizona, uh, after beating, their last win was against the Cardinals, and it looked like, okay, is this team legit? Since then, that's their only win in their last four, which isn't great. Or actually, no. No, no. Correct me. Strike that. Wrong. They beat Seattle. I think they had a bye. Uh, they came back. They lost to the Dolphins. They beat the Bills, which was a good win, and now they've lost their last two. So they're one and three. Uh, when they beat Seattle, they're riding high. We're looking at them like, okay, Kyler Murray, all right, MVP maybe, uh, potential NFC Wild, Dark Horse, I don't know. But they faltered since then. Um, the big one, they've played Seattle a second time in there. Uh, Kyler Murray may have gotten hurt. That, that could be an issue right now. Um, his shoulder could be an issue because the last couple weeks he's been struggling. But their remaining schedule at the Giants. So that should be a win, but Daniel Jones has been playing better. They play uh, home against the Eagles, which, again, the Eagles kind of stink right now, so that could be a win. Uh, they play the 49ers, which is tough because uh, the 49ers are starting to get healthy a little bit. And, um, you know, like I said, they beat the Rams last week, so they're starting to get healthy. That could be a problem. They're sitting at 5-6, and six, and then they finish at the Rams. So, again, big-time matchup here. Uh, and definitely down the stretch, it could have playoff implications, especially between these two teams. Like I said, Cardinals, um, they right now currently are the recipient of that uh, first ever third wild card slot. So they would be the seventh seed if it ended right now, and they would be going to Lambeau to lose. Oh, did I say lose? I meant play by Green Bay Packers. And then, again, the big thing, like I said, good or bad golf, do we get him? Uh, Kyler, Mur Kyler Murray, can he be the great equalizer? Because... You know, they don't have really a lot of the Cardinals going on offensively, but Kyler Murray can, again, with what he can do with his legs and with his arm, can mask a lot of that. But again, I just mentioned it two weeks ago when they played Seattle. Uh, he, almost had to came, he almost had to come out of the game. It looked like he landed on his shoulder. Could be something with the AC joint. Is he 100%? Didn't look it last week. Um, 
But then again, he also played Bill Belichick last week, so not many young quarterbacks look good against Bill Belichick defense. But that's the thing. If he's healthy, I think they get it done. If he's not healthy, if he's not 100%, uh, I think it's going to be tough to beat the Rams. Um, to help him out a little bit so he doesn't have to throw it as much, Kenyon Drake had a good, he scored twice last week, so get him involved a little bit, and, you know, that's going to be your key to victory. But I think Kyler Murray being healthy, that's going to determine, that's going to be the big determinant, if that is a word, of who wins this game. All right, all right, all right, Jabron, why don't you just go ahead and take a hike? These people are sick of listening to you break down their last four, their remaining schedule. They don't care. Oh, they don't care. Take all a right. hike. Oh, okay. All right, you got all this. Right. Okay. All right. Rams, here's the deal. Jared Goff, kind of stinks. Kyler Murray, pretty good. Don't matter their remaining schedule. This has no implications on the Super Bowl because, let's be honest, neither of these teams are good enough to win the Super Bowl right now. That's my opinion, but that's fact. Also, uh, Kyler Murray... Probably best player on the field, so I'm going to say Cardinals are going to win this game. All right, Jabron, you can come on back because I'm done. I am done. All right. Listen, man, that was very that was very disrespectful, Paul. Paul, you can't just come into the video and then call me a jabroni and then walk away. Paul, Paul don't walk away from me.